Welcome back on our Tuesday evening. I hope you had a great day. It was a sunny, beautiful day out there. Yes, it was chilly, but it was so nice to get that sunshine. We're going to start with first alert headlines. Our first alert weather day is Wednesday. Areas of accumulating snow and again, we'll break this down for it coming up in just a minute. Increasing wind, especially late in the day, so it could have some visibility issues out there on Thursday. It's all about that cold air working its way into the region. It is going to just funnel right in here on Thursday. And again, it looks like Sunday going to be the coldest day. However, that being said, it is going to be very cold basically for Thursday, at least a week, if not longer. And I suspect it is going to last about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. So just get ready to settle into that satellite and radar. A little bit of snow working its way into the state right now. Still a good ways away uh, from our region. It'll work its way into our region uh, early Wednesday morning and then spread throughout the day east. Here's what we've got timing again late tonight, early tomorrow. A little bit of that snow hanging on through early Thursday morning. Highest Snowfall totals going to be those northern areas, northern valley, um, northern Minnesota, about three to four inches plus. You start heading toward Red River Valley, about one to three inches of snowfall, especially those areas south. I think Fargo going to see an inch, maybe a little bit more. And we're talking about the potential for blowing snow, reducing visibility, and some slick roads as well. First alert forecast here's what we've got for you that snow kind of coming in waves and again, uh, scattered snow showers. There will be times, especially northern regions, where that snow is going to stick around for a few hours. That's why those areas are looking getting the most snowfall, at least in terms of that snowfall potential on Thursday. Again, that's when it gets really cold out there. Here's what we've got four inches, maybe more, maybe as much as six inches. You head up Northern Valley, extreme Northern Valley toward Langdon. Uh, I've got about three inches, maybe four Grand Forks, Fargo, again, an inch or two head out toward Jamestown. We're looking at maybe an inch of snow. So again, different, different varying levels of that snowfall potential as you work your way through the region on Thursday. Again, it's that cold air invading the region. Sub zero temperatures likely for several days. Windshield values in 20, 30, 40 below zero potentially again at times. We look at our temperature trend. Notice how it really dips down Saturday, Sunday, Monday start to climb out a little bit by the middle of next week, but it looks like next weekend we can see those numbers go down once again. Windchill for Fargo. These are a snapshot 7 a.m. for the next seven days. You see these numbers Friday through Tuesday. We're looking at 20 to 30 below zero. However, they're going to be periods of times when the winds pick up and it's going to feel more like 40 below with that wind chill. 10 right now Fargo 4 in Grand Forks, 13 in Jamestown and most areas not dealing with a lot of wind right now. Relatively calm night tomorrow morning. Our temperatures actually going to warm up overnight, so we're in the low to mid teens and again some of that snow starting to move into the region tomorrow afternoon highs in the low to mid 20s. It's going to be a while after tomorrow that we see low to mid 20s on Thursday. We'll see a low or a high, I should say, of 12. Very windy. That's when the wind chill will really kick in on Friday. A high of five. We're below zero Saturday, Sunday, Monday into early Tuesday. And you see, even when we quote unquote warm up on Wednesday, it's 12 <laughs> degrees. Now, I do want to let you guys know really quickly 286 days since we've seen a temperature of zero. That was March 29th. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to get there on Thursday night, Friday morning. No, a chunk of that was mm -hmm. summer and early fall. You wouldn't expect this to be below right, zero, but right. this has been a nice stretch through fall and early winter. Absolutely. Sure was. Thanks, yeah. Russ.